Hello, my friends. My name is Debbie Reed. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Kingston, Idaho. And today I want to show you a card and several other cards at the end of the video that I have made with this two-tone flora stamp set. I absolutely love this set. And this is the card I'm going to show you how to make today. The colors of inks we're going to be using for this card are the Garden Green, Granny Apple Green, Gorgeous Grape, Mango Melody, Starry Sky, and Polished Pink. The supplies you're gonna to need to make this card is a card base of Fresh Freesia. You're going to need three, four by five and a quarter basic white, an envelope, and a little strip of Highland Heather. And the die to this set, the main focus is this die. And you would put your four by five and a quarter paper down on, on the frame like this. And you would take it and you would run it through your stamp cut and boss machine. And then when you're done running it through, you would take, what I usually do is I take the little brush in my hand and hold this over a garbage can and you're gonna just rub this over the frame and it's gonna drop all of the pieces. And then you would have this beautiful piece that comes out of um, from this die set. So that is already done. So we're going to take um, one of the four by five and a quarter. We're gonna start stamping. And the first thing we're gonna start stamping is a leaf. And ink this up. We're gonna stamp this right here. Just like that. And then we're going to take the other leaf in this set and I'm gonna stamp that in the granny apple green. In my card, I actually did uh, two in the granny apple green and one in the garden green, but this is just to show you. So this one is gonna just be slightly different. I didn't wanna take the time to, you know, change colors and clean the ink and all that stuff. So there's the two leaves. Then this is a two, uh, a two step stamp set. And oh my gosh, I am so in love with this. So we're gonna take the starry sky. When you are doing the flowers, you want to do the center of the flower first. It just helps you line up the flower. So we're gonna stamp this in starry sky. Then we're going to, in the starry sky, take the second flower. This is where you would do some stamping off. Let me grab a piece of paper. You're going to stamp off the flower and then come back in. And you're gonna line this up with the dots. Okay, there's that. Then we're gonna come in with another color. So we're going to come in with polished pink. Do the same thing, do the center straight. And then we're gonna come in with a stamped off form of the polished pink, stamped off. And this one lines up in the center with that little, that little wavy looking thing. Let's see, like that. Okay, then we're going to come in with Mango Melody. And that is going to be our third flower. And this one you line up with the little dots in the center. We're gonna stamp off and then line this one up. Let me see, right? there and then you would take all of these that have been stamped and you would go to your die cutting machine get this out of the way and then you would end up with this when they're die cut so these are what I'm going to show you on the card how we're going to put the card together so the first thing we're going to do is take our fresh free card Fresh 
freesia, if I could only speak, fresh freesia card base. And we are going to glue this down. The easiest way to do this is actually just glue the big spots and just make sure you get a little bit on the edge. So super easy. You're gonna just take just little tiny dots of glue. So just kind of on some of these more open big spots, you don't need a lot of glue. This actually adheres quite well. And you're going to have things overlay on the top of this. So you don't really need a super, you know, massive amount of glue. These two corners will glue down completely because you have areas. You do want to make sure you get your corners down. So just kind of, you know, find little spots where this will stick down. And like I said, it doesn't have to all stick down because you're going to have things overlay on here. Little there, little there, little there, and a tiny bit up here. Okay, that should be good. Let's go ahead and put this down. So that's just going to lay in the center, just like that. Okay, then we are going to take a leaf and we're going to kind of place where we're going to position everything. I'm going to put this down. Actually, I'm going to glue this down right away. This is going to go right there. So let's go ahead and glue our little Highland Heather strip down. And that's going to go right here across the bottom. Just like that. And we're going to take all of our pieces that we just die cut and we're going to just kind of lay them down on our card just to give ourselves an idea of where things are going to go. And then this is going to have a dimensional on it. So let me go ahead and put that dimensional on there now so we can kind of see how this is going to be laying here. And then the little leaves are going to tuck into these little areas like that. I'm going to stick one right here. And I'm going to put one up here. Okay, then I'm going to stamp happy birthday on my little oval. And I'm going to stamp that in Gorgeous Grape. Happy birthday. Let's get that right there. I know, it's upside down. But when you turn it right side up, it works. So there's that. And that is going to go right alongside here. So I can see that I want to just move this just a tiny bit to the left. So I'm going to start gluing. And knowing I'm going a tiny bit to the left, I'm going to just put little dots of glue. And I'm going to bring this down on this little edge. Just like that. And then I'm going to glue this one down. This set stamps so beautiful and these flowers die cut beautiful. It's just, I love this set. Very, very pretty. You can um, crinkle your flowers if you would like. I just thought of that. So you can kind of just to get some of that little texture and dimension going. It's not total, you know, where you have to. I also, on my card, I ended up taking alcohol marker and I just did a little bit of the yellow and uh, brown dots on the centers for the video purpose. I don't know that that's necessary today. So then we're going to put this down. Oh, throwing my flowers. Okay, we're going to put this down to overlay right there. 
And you don't want to have your edges fully down at this point or glued because you've got to uh, glue your other little leaves down. So make sure you can still tuck things. Put this back so I can see where this is going. That's going to go right there. This is going to have its little tab taken off. And put this little flower. I think I would like it to go this way, right there. Then we're gonna glue this one down. You can mass produce this card once you've done all of your stamping and die cutting. So that is gonna take you some time, but you know, it's something that you can do ahead of time and just have your pieces ready. So then this is gonna tuck in right there. I don't glue this all the way to the top. I like to have it just still somewhat suspended on the top so that it does have some feeling of it being a real leaf. Okay, then we're gonna take this and tuck this under a tiny and glue this down. right there and then i'm going to take rhinestones and grab this little guy take my little tweezer and grab one of those oh it flipped there it is it didn't get the glue though so let me put that on there. Come on, little guy. And that's going to go right there, just like that. Okay, now for the inside, this is fun. We're going to take our flower back. I'm going to take a scrap piece of paper. And we are going to stamp our big flower off of the corner. And just for fun, we're going to do this one in Orchid Oasis because it is so pretty. I love it too. So let me wipe this off. Let me wipe my other one off. Okay, I'm gonna ink this up with the base and come off this corner. Then we're gonna come in with this one and once again, we're gonna stamp off. And then we're gonna come back onto the card and line up the dots, just like that. And then the sentiment is from the very best occasion. Let me see what I did with that. Here it is. And I'm going to ink that in the starry sky. And that's gonna go right here. That way you have room for writing. And this is gonna go on the inside of our card. So let me grab this. I'm gonna glue this down, get rid of this. And we're gonna just glue the perimeter so that when you're writing, the glue doesn't interfere with your writing. Put that just like that. And now I want to show you some of the cards that I've made with this two-tone flora. So this is this card. Isn't that pretty? I love it. I just love it. So these are some other cards that I made. This card was actually Taste from the Catalog. This is the card that I made from the catalog. I did change the colors of the flowers. However, the layout is exactly the same. This is a card that I saw on Pinterest, I believe, or YouTube. This was from Jackie Williams, and she made this with the two-tone flora. She used one flower, the leaves, and then did some other little pieces. In the stamp set, every single flower, everything has a die, except this little guy. So that's these little flowers that are just fill-ins. This is another card that Jackie Williams had done that I uh, cased from her. This is a card I made with um, the, the flowering boots stamp set that we don't have anymore. I used the um, water can from that stamp set and made a floral arrangement. 
And then in the, the paper, you have this beautiful paper and you have several others. You get four of, I think, 12 uh, styles. This is one side, this is the other. These papers are really beautiful. So this is a card that I made with this paper. So basically I just took some deckle dies and die cut the designer series paper, deckle dyed a background paper, used a card base. I um, die cut two squares. These two flowers and the leaves are from the two-tone flora set. Super simple little card if you're in a hurry. And I don't think I did anything on the inside yet, but that's just using the designer series paper. This is another card I made with the two-tone flora. And I also incorporated this with the framed florette dies. So the two just go very well together. So this is one that I made. This is another one that I made. And I hope you will consider the two sets. The die, the uh, florette dies are amazing. There's many things you can do with it. And the two-tone flora is absolutely so fun and just great playing with flowers. Hope you enjoyed the cards. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time, go make something uniquely yours. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.